Want to learn how to grow broccoli microgreens using our silicone reusable grow medium just like this? Stay tuned for the video. Let's head into the supplies that we need for this grow, starting with our trays. Here in front of me, I have three 1020 trays. The first one is a no hold 1020 tray. This is gonna be our reservoir. Next up is a mesh 1020 tray. This is where the medium's gonna sit and our microgreens are gonna grow. Last is another no hold 1020 tray. This tray is used to sit on top with a weight like this and later is flipped into blackout like this. We're gonna take that top tray and just set it aside for now. Next, grab your silicone medium and simply place it into the mesh tray, just like this. This next step is completely optional, but something that I like to do, and that is to give the medium a light misting with some water so we can prevent the seeds from bouncing and that way they stick a little bit better. Now we're gonna take 20 grams of broccoli seed, which is roughly two tablespoons and seed our medium. Something that I really like about this medium is the visibility that it has, meaning I can see where the seeds are going and I can tell right away if I'm seeding an area too heavily or not, which I find really beneficial. Another thing to note about the medium is the size of the mesh, which is one millimeter or just over one millimeter, meaning that most seeds can work with it. However, not all microgreen seeds will work. There are some out there that will fall through, such as amaranth. Now that we are done seeding our tray, we are going to water our microgreen seeds so that way they can actually germinate. When watering the seeds on the reusable medium, I'm giving them a pretty hefty watering without creating a lot of pooling. Now that we have watered our microgreen seeds, we need to trap in that humidity, otherwise they're not going to germinate, especially on this type of medium. To do that, we're gonna take that tray that we set aside and place it on top, put a brick on top to really seal in all that moisture. Now, all I have left to do today is I just need to take my tray and place it onto my dark shelf over here. This way they can start to germinate. I'm gonna check this twice a day, morning and evening, and see if they need another mist or not. We really want to make sure that they are staying watered and not drying out. I'll see you tomorrow for another update. It is day two for our broccoli microgreens, and we are going to check out our growth so far. So looking at this tray, what I'm noticing is we are starting to see them germinate throughout, which is awesome. Uh, means in just a couple more days, these guys are gonna be ready for the next stage. The other thing that I'm noticing is that we did trap in a good amount of that moisture, which is exactly what I want to see. And I can tell this because one, we have some moisture on the side here, and two, my seeds are still looking nice and dark. So now let's go ahead and give them a mist for the first time today. For broccoli on this medium, I'm just gonna do a light pass. And now this next step is completely optional, but I will be spraying this lightly with a prophylactic spray. Perfect, now it's time to place our top tray back on top like it was, put our brick on there and place this back on the shelf. It is day three for our broccoli grow and we're gonna pull it off the shelf and take a look at our germination and give it a watering. At this time, we are starting to see a bunch of them beginning to germinate a lot more than what we saw yesterday and we are getting very close to the next step. Now all I have left to do is just water these so that way they continue to germinate. Place the lid back on top, put our brick back on top, and onto the shelf again. Let's remove that brick, take off the top, and check out what we have going on. Right away, I am noticing that this tray is ready for the next stage, which is going to be blackout. The reason being is I'm seeing more of this yellow plant showing than I am brown seed, so now is the perfect time to move this into the next phase. Before I do that, I do wanna mist the entire tray so that way they don't dry out. This step is completely optional, but if you wanna add one fourth cup of water to this bottom tray during blackout to make sure that they don't dry out, you can definitely do that. However, I'm not going to be doing that today. Now what I need to do is I need to take that tray that was on top like this with the weight, and we're going to reverse it back on top like that and put it back onto a dark shelf. I will check this twice a day, morning and evening, to make sure it has enough water. Today is day five of our broccoli grow, so let's pull it off the shelf and take a look at it. This has been in blackout for one full day. Okay, and we are definitely ready for the next step. 
What I'm noticing right away on my tray is that these are standing up nice and tall and straight, and I don't want them to get any taller than this. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna remove them from blackout, which means we do not need this tray anymore. And we're gonna place these directly into the light and then begin the next step, which is bottom watering. So come over here and we'll take a look at that. Since I have one tray in the light of my broccoli, I'm gonna go ahead and put my other two trays here that I was growing on the side. Perfect. Now it is time to bottom water these. We like to bottom water our microgreens as soon as we put them into the light. And for this, I'm gonna be using ocean solution mixed with some water and it's been pH balanced to the 5.5, 6.0 range. What I'm looking for is that it's not coming over the top of the medium here because I don't want a lot of pulling throughout my tray. And if you're curious what lights I put them under, it's three of the Barina 20 watt lights. We've had wonderful results with these for the past four years. It is day nine of our broccoli grow and today is harvest day. Before I jump into harvesting, why don't you come up close and we'll take a look at this crop together. I am loving how this tray is looking right now. Of course, there are a few areas that I feel like they could have gone a little bit taller, such as right here, but overall the entire tray is looking pretty even, which I love to see. Our cotyledons are nice and fluffy, which is great. And the height on this tray is lovely. Now that we are all set up, let's start this harvest. Whenever I'm harvesting on the silicone, I'm being sure to stay about an inch to half an inch above the medium. That way I don't risk cutting it. Mmm, there is that beautiful smell that brassicas provide. Before we harvest this last little bit, I wanna show you guys something cool. So with the silicone medium, you can gently take a group like that, wiggle it a little bit, and pull everything from the stem to the root out just like that. Now let's take a look at our harvest weight. From this tray, I got 95 grams of this broccoli microgreens. Now that is a good amount of produce for me to eat throughout the week. The last thing that I wanted to share with y'all is how quick and easy it is to remove all these roots. You have two options. Option one, you can go to a corner and simply just start pulling them out just like that with your hands. The other option is if you don't wanna get your hands super messy, you can get one of our scraper cleaning tools that we sell on our website and just go to a corner of the tray and just like that, everything gets scraped up. Takes a matter of seconds. Shabam! Now the next thing that I would do is I could flip this over now and I can do the same thing on that side. You can even do it to your tray too if that helps you, either way works. And the final question that I'm sure some of y'all will have is how do you actually clean this for reuse? What I like to do at home is I like to take this to my sink after I have removed everything with my scraper tool and I will go through and kind of pluck out anything else that might be stuck. I will then rinse it off first under some hot warm water. After that, I will take a food safe soap and lather it up real good between my hands and then you just rinse it off with hot water again, dry it off, and you are ready to reuse again. Now, if you are using this for commercial use, I do suggest making sure to take that extra step to really sanitize this medium. There are so many different ways to sanitize, so just be sure that you look into that and figure out what is allowed in your local area and what makes sense for your grow space. Well, y'all, that is the end of this video. I hope I was able to guide you through growing broccoli microgreens on our silicone reusable grow medium. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to get those answered for you as soon as I possibly can. And if you haven't already, be sure to check us out on www.onthegrow.net, where we have a lot of microgreen related products, such as our reusable grow mediums. And also be sure to check us out on social media at On The Grow Farms on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I'll see you guys soon for another video.